the equivalent of consilience, um, that is the unified meta theory, as you put it, for all sciences. Uh, and I think actually more than the meta theory, because I think more links them than just um, the structure and and um, uh, and methodology and so on, uh, was discovered by Popper. Mm -hmm. um, he he's um, he 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 found I, again. I don't know whether this is historically the order in which things happened, but he is famous for his political philosophy and for his philosophy of science. And he found at one point that they are the same, uh, that, that uh, they, they both are, are about problems and about the fact that um, there is no such thing as instruction from without. There is only conjecture from within. So that's why Lamarckism is false and Darwinism is true. And that's why group selection is false and, and uh, individual selection is true and so on. So... I think it's already there in Popper. I think it can be. I mean, I think there's there's a lot more to it, and I tried to add um, another couple of things to it. Uh, so, uh, quantum theory and and computation. Um, but there's a lot that that isn't in it, like like consciousness and creativity and so on. That we have no idea of how those work and how they fit in with those other things. Although but I think we know. So forgive me for interrupting you, David. I'm yeah. sorry. There is a book by Dean Simonton, who's a psychologist out of, I think, UC Davis, that actually offers a Darwinian account for creativity. It's actually quite mind blowing. So keep that in mind. I can give you the reference later. But go ahead, continue. I, yeah, I, 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 I don't read such things unless they've already made an AGI. <laughs> I see. Okay, fair enough. So, uh, if, if they if they don't if they can't make an AGI, then they haven't got the full theory. They might have an idea for a theory, right. but then lots. Of, you know, Popper has an idea for a theory, but but he he couldn't make one either. And Turing, uh, Turing thought that there'd be an AGI by the year two thousand, and that it would require two megabytes of memory. Now he's obviously wrong about the year two thousand, but two megabytes of memory, I. I reckon that's what it'll be. Uh, in other words, these large language models and, and all this massive computer power is going in entirely the wrong direction. The, the answer will be a philosophical breakthrough, which will allow, once we understand what we're, what we're trying to make, it will be relatively easy to make it with relatively few computational resources.